And that's when I knew. That's oh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Shani Stevens. I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content here on my channel. And I also have a background in makeup artistry. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely come back and watch more videos and subscribe before you leave. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I installed this V-part wig. It started off a little rough, but we got it together. So I'm going to show you guys everything that I did. It was super easy, honestly. Once I figured it out, it was super easy. So if you're a beginner, don't worry. This is it's pretty simple. Okay, if I did it, you can do it. Because I really don't know how to do my hair. Um, I just be winging it and I figure it out. So if you are a beginner, don't worry. You'll figure it out if you do decide to purchase a V-part wig. So yeah, but let's go ahead and get into this video so y'all can see what I did because... It came out exactly how I wanted it to come out, and I was determined to make it look how I wanted it to look. And it came out so good, so let's go ahead and get into today's video, and thank you so much Unice Hair for sending over this unit and sponsoring today's video. First things first, I'm starting with my hair already washed, blow dried, and braided down. I try to do my best with the braid down and honestly I feel like I'm getting a little bit better. So after I blew out my hair and before I braided it down, I took the wig out of the box, cut the little two threads off that hold the wig together when it comes, you know, when it comes to you fresh out the box. So I cut that off and then I put the wig on my head while my hair was just like blew out in a ponytail. And I measured the wig on my head to make sure I had enough leave out. Now that I'm looking at it, I probably should have left a little bit of my edges out. But it's okay. Hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. I still feel like the wig fits really, really well. I'm really loving that the top part of the wig is pretty much covered up by hair. So that I don't have to run into the issue of having to leave a lot of hair out to cover up the tracks that usually are on the top of the wig. So this is not a traditional V part or U part wig. It's like upgraded because they have the tracks placed in a way that the hair is covering up the top of the wig where the tracks usually show. So this is the top of the wig. The top of the U part, no tracks shown. And then you have the inside, you have the four combs where your leave out should be, and then you have a comb in the back so the wig stays secured, but I don't think I'm going to use this. And then you have the two wig combs on the side of the wig to hook it into my braids. And then on the back of the wig, you have the drawstring to adjust the wig if it's too big or, you know, just to make sure you have a secure fit. And then... You have another adjustable bra strap looking band that will help secure the wig to your head if it's too big. And then you also have this grippy thing on the back of the wig that will help the wig stay in place a little bit more. It kind of feels like that um, rubbery stuff that comes on a strapless bra to make sure your strapless bra isn't like moving too much. So I think this just adds another layer of gripping and security. So. That's the inside of the wig. I also believe the wig construction makes it to be a little bit more breathable than the average U-part wig. So yeah, I'm excited to wear this and honestly I don't have a lot of time to put this on so I really need to get a move on. And excuse my voice, it's the morning time and I haven't had anything to drink or any tea so please disregard my voice or the lack of energy but i'm just going to brush this hair out and put this wig on and hopefully it does what i need to do because honestly i don't have the time to like really mess with it too much all right so before you even try to put this wig on make sure the wig clips are open so that you can just comb the wig clips into the top of your cornrow and then clip it on to the beginning part of the braid and that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Super easy. The wig clips just slid into my braids. I'm so happy that I took my time and braided my hair this go around because if the braids would have been bulkier, oh, 
the wig would have not been laying flat at all now for the sides of the wig i'm just going to pull the wig outward flip that wig comb upwards and out and then comb it into that braid in the front of my head and the wig combs just slid into my cornrows perfectly so i'm super happy that i took my time blew out my hair braided it down where it wasn't too big or too bulky um the braid out was perfect that's all i gotta say and then for the back part of the wig we have a drawstring i don't think i'm going to adjust it i think i like the way it feels it feels secure and it feels like it fits my head so i think the drawstring can stay how it is i'm just going to take that comb on the back of the wig and comb it up into my braids and then take the drawstring and tuck it under um but i do still like that the drawstring is there because it's giving it more like of a hold under my braids so it's not like flopping in the wind so yeah that's how the back of the wig is looking and y'all can see how it's still like flushed with my head so i really like that before i take my leave out down i'm just going to run my flat iron through the unit a little bit because i didn't like like i said y'all i pulled this right out of the box i don't recommend that i usually like to wash my units before i put them on my head but I didn't have the time to do that yesterday. All I had time to do for real was wash my hair, blow it out, and braid it down. I was trying to finish off this video yesterday, or film this video yesterday, but I was just overthinking a little bit too much, so yeah. Honestly, I really don't need to straighten it, but I'm gonna straighten it just to see if there's a difference. But yeah, the wig feels really good. I don't feel like it's pulling at my hair at all the only thing that's throwing me off about this wig is my ears being poked out like this because the wig is a little bit too big honestly i do feel like that will be fixed if i leave some leave that out but we'll we'll see i'll try to update y'all on that I feel like it's not making much of a difference with me straightening the hair, but I'm gonna keep doing it. It might be too early to notice. Honestly, once I do wash this hair and then, you know, let it air dry and then blow it out, then I'll probably be able to tell a little bit more of the natural nature of this unit. Right now, I'm literally just working right out of the box, but make sure y'all wash the hair. I don't want nobody in my comments talking about the wig broke me out. Even though I've never gotten that comment before. You know, I just like to make sure I'm washing the wig because you never know. I do feel like it's making it smoother. <laughs> this looks like relaxed hair and the way it feels, it feels textured like and then I really like the color. Okay, so there's a slight difference. This looks smoother and flatter, and then this looks just a little bit more puffed out, if that makes sense. It's a very subtle difference, so honestly, you don't need to straighten it if you don't want to fresh out the box. But like I said, we will see once I do wash this hair. And that will be another video and i apologize if i'm talking super low my bad i'm trying to remind myself to speak up <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna come back when i'm done with this side all right so
so everything has been straightened out and this is how the hair is looking all pulled to the front it does look really like smooth and silky and flowy Moving on to my leave out, all I did up to this point was, of course, wash it, blow it out, and put some frizz serum on it to try and keep it straight. And I just used my pure coat flat iron to press it out. So I've been straining the unit and my hair on like four times. Okay. Okay. Hopefully my hair doesn't revert because it has the tendency to do that. Which is why, which is why I always get curly units and straighten it because my hair just, it doesn't stay straight and it just blends better with a curly unit straightened. But we're going to see. Now I'm taking this anti-frizz silkening serum. Just put in like a little dot. Y'all can't see that. And mainly focusing it on the leave out and then just adding it onto the rest of the hair. I'm taking another pump of the hair. And I'm just going to add a little bit of some face framing layers. I'm going to use my hair as a guide and I'm parting it off behind my ear. Alright, so my hair is ending right here. Yo, I don't know what I'm doing for real. The hairstyles be making this look so smooth. Like, why do I feel like I'm butchering the hair? Oh, was that too much of a blunt? <gasps> I think it's too blunt. I think it's too blunt, y'all. I think it's too blunt. I think it's too blunt. I think I messed it up. I should have left it alone. Do this to myself. I feel like I mess up every unit. Okay, so it's a lot of time later. I done wrapped my hair. I fixed my leave out because it was puffing up. I'm gonna show y'all a little trick that I did because the leave out just was not doing what I wanted it to do. I told y'all I was going for silk press, sleek, bust down. And I feel like when it comes to a sleek bust down middle part, it has to be straight. I messed up layering the hair because I feel like if you're doing a bust down, minimal, minimal layers. But hey, whatever. Um, but yeah, I did that and I was just like, it's not looking how I wanted to look. And then my leave out kept puffing out. So I was like, hmm. I'm going to go back to how my mom used to strain out my hair and put some grease on my leave out, okay? And look, look at, look at what we have, look at what we have going on here. Mm, I wrap my hair so it can like marinate, so I'm going to show y'all exactly what I did since I like hopped off camera because I needed to collect my thoughts, you know? So I can show y'all how to do it right the first time. <laughs> okay, so first things first. I took the wig because it was, you know, a little bit too taut on the front of my braid. So I didn't hook the front of the braid what am I saying? I didn't hook the wig clips on this front braid. I should have left this part of my hair out. I was not about to change my whole braid down. We're not doing that. So when you're doing your hair, make sure you leave about an inch 
or half an inch of leave out out so that the wig sits a little bit more comfortably. I'm acting like I know what I'm talking about, but I just did my hair. So I feel like I know what I'm talking about a little bit. So yeah, leave like an inch of leave out out and then braid your hair down right here and then that's where you're gonna hook the braid on both sides. So I should have left like <laughs> my temples out so that it just set way better okay so we move so that's everything didn't change anything about the wig at all i literally just moved it back a little bit okay as far as the leave out y'all saw how it was puffing up okay so i did straighten my hair again because i wanted a sleek style so of course i was about to straighten it again okay but before i did that I took this Aquaphor Immediate Relief for Chapped Chafed Skin, the Healing Balm Stick. Took this on my hands, just like this, y'all. Like this. And then I rubbed it together, like it was like some serum. And then I just, you know, put it all over my leave out. Of course I put more, but I don't want to put any more oil on my leave out because it's already looking a little, you know, oily. So I'll just put it on this here. So I did that and then I went through and straightened my hair in sections, not even sections, in parts, smaller parts than I did before. So I did like half of an inch and then I straightened it and that's when I knew that's when I knew I did something and then I combed it out and it just uh, flows ever so flawlessly with the unit like you can't even tell where my hair starts and where the unit is starting that's what we want okay and then I also took the last little slither of section and did the same thing. I touched my roots like three times. One, two, three. And pulled it all the way through. Okay. And that's what gave me this sleek look that you guys see in front of you today. <laughs> Moving on to the next little thing that I tweaked about the hair. Because I went in too blunt over here, I had to even it out, okay? So I took this little, whatever this is, I got it from the beauty salon store like years ago. And I just went in and started adding a little bit more layers just like this to even everything out so if you're not good with the scissors you're not good with layering get this but do not cut your hair your real hair do not cut your real hair with this you will probably split your ends so i took this and just try to even out those blunt cuts that I did and I think it looks way better. It's still a little blunt, but it looks way better than it did this morning. And then I also tried to like mimic it on this side as well. So just adding more of a natural layer. All right, so once I did that, I split the hair down the middle a little light dust and I cut in a diagonal shape like when you're looking at it like when you're looking at your hair like I'm looking at my hair you're gonna cut like this at least this is what I did and I'm also gonna do the same thing on this side where's my comb comb all the hair up to the front and then I'm cutting in a diagonal 
literally just dust it and you see how it just falls like that that's what we want oh that's what I want <laughs> and now you have a good old sleek bust down no baby hairs or nothing i'm just letting my edges do what they're doing they're probably gonna frizz up once i go to the gym but right now my hair looks cute and that's all we're worrying about so i'm just brushing my edges down how i like them to lay and that's literally all i'm doing i'm not putting no edge control on it no nothing just freshly straightened hair being laid down not the bra strap and this is how everything came out i think it looks so good it's looking very cutesy very natural very much i gotta sew in or i gotta sew press wow i did that listen i might have did something And I literally just bought this because my lips were going through something. But yeah, this is the hair and this is how I'm going to be wearing it because like I said at the beginning of the video, I was, I wanted to do a sleek bust down. So this is how I'm styling the hair. This is probably how I'm going to be wearing it and I am obsessed. Like, I might just have to go take a passport picture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It looks so good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Y'all, I really like how the you know the hair turned out once I tweaked it a little bit. But honestly, all the tips that I gave y'all, if y'all do that first, this will probably only take you like maybe 15 minutes to 30 minutes to install the wig. Of course, washing her hair, braiding it down, doing all that. You know that's going to take some time but actually installing the unit and styling it and like judging it up it shouldn't take you long if you do what i did the second go around what i just told y'all if y'all do that from the beginning you'll be good so yes this is the hair this is the unit it's flowy it's blending in with my hair amazingly i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much you nice hair for sending over this unit and sponsoring today's video if i have any coupon codes i will link them on the screen or link them down below in my description box so yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i will see you guys in my next video if you haven't already seen the video that will pop up on the screen definitely check it out let me know what you think let me know you're coming from this video um and also if you haven't already subscribed my face will pop up on the screen and all you have to do is click it and subscribe if you want to so yeah i love y'all and i will see y'all very very soon bye or see you later <laughs>